Starring in almost 50 major motion pictures, he's not exactly pretty, but his striking talent and dark edge more than make up for that. He's Willem Dafoe. The way it plays, just... Willem Dafoe's breakthrough role was as the compassionate Sergeant Elias in the iconic Vietnam War film Platoon. He was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his performance as the soldier wrestling with his conscience in the middle of a bloody war. He has since become a popular character actor. Due to his harsh facial features, he's often typecast as unstable or villainous characters, like the psychotic Green Goblin in the Spider-Man movies, and Mexican drug lord Barillo in Once Upon a Time in Mexico. So immersed was he in the role of the glider-riding Green Goblin that he did many of his own stunts. Uh, I've played a lot of villains. Um, I think there's something in that. I mean, you get to act out in a way that you, you know, aren't allowed to in life. I get to entertain some antisocial uh, impulses, do some bad things, stuff that we know we're not supposed to do, and you get licensed to do them as you play out these things. From the dark side to playing the ultimate good guy, Defoe was cast as Jesus in The Last Temptation of Christ. The controversial film which depicts Jesus tempted by fear, doubt and lust caused a sensation on its release. Defoe received acclaim despite the furor over the film and later remarked, I can't believe it was so brazen to think I could pull off the Jesus role. Willem Dafoe's been giving his dark side a rest of late, with lighter roles in Mr Bean's Holiday and even Finding Nemo. Although we all know you can't keep a good screen villain down for long.